What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing another Final Cut Pro tutorial and today we are doing a uh, little tutorial on Super Slow Motion, Pixel Motion, otherwise known as Twixter by most people. Uh, this is the Super Slow Motion where you get kind of like a little bit of a wavy effect sometimes and it's well known as Twixter because After Effects and Sony Vegas house those two um, plugins for Twixter. And that's what most people use in the editing community. But if you're on a Mac and you're using Final Cut Pro because you like it, and I like it personally too, it is kind of a drag that there's no Twixter. But uh, fortunately, there is a solution that is just as good, and I'm going to be demonstrating it today. Um, so let's just import some random clip. Uh, you want the highest quality clip you can get, 60 frames per second, um, or 59.94, whatever you want to call it. Um, you want the highest quality clip you can get. And the reason why is because even if you are using pixel motion, which is very good at capturing the frames and stretching them out and doing a good job at making it look like it's a smooth motion, um, the higher the quality, the less waviness and warping there will be. Um, warping is something that's actually <laughs> kind of hard to fight with, and I actually had problems with it at first when I first started using pixel motion apps. Um, so you got to really, really focus on that. Alright, so we're just going to cut, as you can see, I use the blade tool there to cut forward. Um, we're just going to come right here to this really nice zoom in. And we're just going to go like that. And we're going to zoom in on the timeline so we can really see this one little part here. Now, um, I recommend you turn down the audio on your clip that has, you know, we're going to do the slow motion. Actually, I recommend turning down your audio on every clip. And the reason why I recommend turning down audio is because, well... It it just you know a lot of background noise, game noise, you know you know terrorist screaming, r radar online and stuff. You don't it's it's a lot of background noise. It's not good for a clean edit. Um, and I don't recommend cutting the audio until he hits a gunshot because then you hear a lot of background noise as soon as the gunshot hits. I recommend getting gun sounds. And I'll actually do a uh, editing pack at 1,000 subscribers. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe, where I'll be giving away every single gun sound I own every single color correction, every single plug-in that literally costed me hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I actually paid for it, and I'll do a full editing pack uh, when I hit 1,000 subscribers. So go ahead and sub now if you haven't had the chance, and you'll see more tutorials and cool edits, so it's definitely worth it. It's not like you're just subbing to some random channel that doesn't do anything cool. Um, yeah, so there you go. Shameless pro uh, plug right there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the retiming tool. Make sure you have it selected and uh, hit slow and then go to 10 percent now I like 10 percent as a starting point um, I mean you can kind of figure out I mean 10 times that small clip here um, will stretch out to there so I mean it's good to just judge I mean say you only want it like four times the size you don't want it to get too unmanageable and you just hit 25 percent uh, or you can just hit conform speed whatever works for you and I uh, usually from there I'll decide how long I want it so let's say I'm starting at 10 I kind of want, you know, like really super slow mo. So let's go to 5% speed or 6 because it fits on the timeline better. So let's go to 6% speed. Now, uh, let's let that render real quick. It should be pretty quick since I have a pretty beefy Mac here. There you go. And let's look at that. Let's see how that looks. So it's really choppy. And that's usually what most people see when they do slow motion on, on Final Cut. Well, what you need to do to make sure you get that Twixter motion hit the retimer and then go down to video quality and hit optical flow now it's gonna render again so it might take a good minute to render and if it does I'm probably gonna pause this and we'll be right back okay it looks like it's finished let's go ahead and uh, wait for it to render which should take only a few moments it actually went a little bit quicker than I thought um, and now my computer's fans are going crazy, and it sounds like it's about to take off from JFK. That's an airport, by the way. Not the not the president. That wouldn't make sense. Okay, anyway. So let's see this preview. Nice, super slow motion. Now you may notice there are a bit of waves. That's basically because, I mean, you're going to get waves no matter what you do. Um, I mean, I could turn it down a bit. Maybe it'll get a little less wavy. Let's see. Yeah, that was a little bit smoother. And uh, you can see that it gets wavy, like right when the scope gets really close. That's because the more motion on the screen, the more wavy it gets. So what you could do is you can cut that, hit normal, and then you can go from there. And you can kind of just have that slow motion there. It looks like it's still a little wavy there. We'll do normal here too. Did I hit hold? What is hold? I don't, I don't even know what hold is. Oh, I see. It stays. Okay, that's kind of odd. All right, there we go. So there you go. 
That's nice and smooth. Good little sync up too. So if I had some music, you can sync that up. Put a little gunshot there, gun sound there. And it would be a cool little uh, cool little edit. So that's how you do Twixter in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, go ahead and leave a like rating and comment. Tell me what you think. Uh, you know, Request any tutorials on anything you've seen in any of my edits or anything you've seen in other people's edits, and I can explain how they did that. And, of course, subscribe so you can get the uh, big editing pack at 1,000 subscribers and so you can see future tutorials and learn new things. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.